surface web. The surface web is the part of the internet that most people use every day, like watching YouTube videos, opening a Wikipedia, or just random browsing on Google Chrome. And just to make it clear, the internet or websites in this context can be grouped into three categories based on how accessible they are. And the surface web in this context is considered public, which means you can find and access things without inserting passwords or using any special software. And this works because web pages are stored on public servers and then indexed by the search engine bots. So for example, if you search every operating system explained on Google, you might find my video there even if you're not on YouTube. That is possible because the video was stored on YouTube's public server when it got uploaded, and then it got indexed by the Google search engine. So when anyone searches for it, Google can instantly show the video since it's not restricted by a password. It's meant for the public. That's how the surface web works. And the same thing goes with news and Wikipedia. The public can access them all directly just by searching. Deep web. The deep web is everything online that isn't indexed by search engines, which means the thing you're looking for is considered private information, so you can't just Google it and find it instantly. But of course, just because it's private, it doesn't mean it's shady or scary. In fact, the deep web is just normal things like your email inbox, private messages, your Google Drive files, or your PayPal. And all of this actually makes up to 90% of the internet. So the characteristic of the deep web is there's always some form of security measure or restriction to access something. For example, you might need login credentials like your ID and password to access services like PayPal or online banking. Some websites are locked behind subscriptions or paywalls like JSTOR or academic databases, so you can't download the research paper if you don't pay. Others require a direct link and internal authorization, such as hospital medical records, government criminal databases, or your company's internal documents. Dark Web The dark web is a small part of the internet that's hidden and inaccessible from normal browsers and search engines like Google. To access it, you need special tools like the Tor browser, which anonymizes users by directing their connection through many encrypted servers called nodes or relays. And websites here also use a .onion domains instead of the usual .com, and you can't find them without knowing the exact address. And since the dark web is built for anonymity, usually there are only two main types of users. The first one is journalists or activists who want to gather information and communicate safely in some authoritarian countries like China or Russia, because those countries typically have strict internet censorship. And the second type is, of course, those who want to access some illegal and messed up stuff. Common content on the dark web includes trading stolen data or hacked accounts, often obtained through phishing or malware like spyware. There's also black markets like Silk Road, which once sold drugs, weapons, and fake documents before being shut down by the FBI in 2013. Today, similar markets still exist, but some are actually operated by undercover government agents to trap some bad guys who try to do transactions there. Another thing is disturbing material like messed up pornography or violent content uploaded by some sick people. But of course, I can't give you the details. Otherwise, this channel is going to get banned by YouTube. And I know these things might interest some of you, but it's better to not visit the dark web because not only things like the black market, messed up pornography, or stolen data exist in here, there are also tons of sites or links filled with malware that can easily launch cyber attack towards you. And those links can be from any of these three. For example, when you browse on the dark web, you might unknowingly trigger a drive-by download where a malicious file, like a keylogger, installs in the background automatically. So everything you type, including passwords, credit cards, and other private info, that keylogger can record it and then send it straight to the hacker. So yeah, pretty dangerous, right? Disclaimer, these three, the surface web, deep web, and dark web are the only real ones. Anything beyond the dark web, such as the Mariana's web, Primark system, quantum computing power, and super intelligent AI god whatsoever are just a bunch of made-up creepypasta internet stories without any real basis from cybersecurity or computer science. I have to say this because there are many people making this content where they mix the real thing with those baseless fictional internet stories. Not trying to offend anybody because even several comments in those videos have pointed out the same thing. In fact, I found the blog that might be the original source because it has the same level and naming as those in the explainer videos we're talking about. And the writer himself gave a statement that he's just gathering some rumors and internet stories. Despite not adding anything up, he's also got no proof to back up these rumors. Anyway, I made a cool video about every computer virus, so don't forget to watch it later, okay?